In this session, we're going to talk about graphical representation of vapor liquid equilibrium. Suppose a system with two components A and B. A is more volatile than BC. The gas and liquid mole fraction of each component can be determined from TSY or PSY diagram. TSY diagram is a plot of equilibrium temperature, usually in degrees Celsius at y-axis versus mole fraction at x-axis at constant pressure normally at 1 atm it can be at 0.5 atm TSY diagram can be used to find dew point temperature of species A in a gas mixture or a bubble point temperature in a liquid mixture at constant pressure TSY diagram can also be used to find each component composition in both vapor phase and liquid phase. Similarly, PSY diagram is a plot of equilibrium pressure, normally in the units mmHg, at y-axis versus mole fraction at x-axis at constant temperature, normally at 100 degrees Celsius. PSY diagram can be used to find dew point pressure of species A in the vapor mixture or the bubble point pressure of species A in the liquid mixture at constant temperature. It can also used to find component composition in both vapor phase and liquid phase. Remember at the beginning of the chapter we talk about the phase diagram of water and we say that the water vapor and liquid water shall in equilibrium line. So when you increase the pressure at constant temperature, the vapor would turn into liquid phase. Now we're looking at this vapor liquid equilibrium line, like at a quantum level, is where we get this TSY or PSY diagram. So let's look at this TSY diagram. This for the benzene tolerance system. Comparing Comparing benzene with toluene, benzene is more volatile species, so we put a more volatile species mole fraction at the x-axis. In the y-axis, that's the temperature in units of degree Celsius, scale from 65 to 115. From this diagram, we can find the boiling point of these two species, because we say benzene is more volatile species, and boiling point is lower, so we can find the boiling point of benzene at the lower end. Therefore, from here we can find the boiling point of benzene is about 80.1 degrees Celsius. And the high end we can find the boiling point of toluene. Toluene is a less volatile species compared to benzene. The boiling point for benzene or for toluene is 110.6 degrees Celsius. For this diagram, we also see that this side is a liquid side and this is a vapor side. And inside the curve is two phase region where vapor and liquid coexist in this region. Bubble point temperature is a temperature at which the first vapor bubble forms when liquid is heated at a constant pressure. So starting from the liquid side, when the liquid is being heated, then it's be going up. When it touches the liquid vapor equilibrium line, it's where the first vapor bubble forms. So this is what we call bubble point temperature line. So you can read the bubble point temperature from this line. And dew point temperature is the temperature at which the first liquid droplet forms when the vapor is slowly cooled at a constant pressure, so starting from the vapor side, it's being slowly cooled, then when you touch the vapor liquid equilibrium line, is where we can read the dew point temperature. This is dew point line. Okay, let's try one example. Suppose in the system there's 0.3 liquid benzene mole fraction, so 0.3 is here, and the balance tolerance what is the bubble point temperature? Well, we say bubble point can be written on this line. So starting from point 0.3, go all the way up. When you touch the bubble point line, 
as well we can read the bubble point temperature and we can go ahead and read the temperature it's about 97.5 degrees Celsius and the most composition are mixture in the vapor phase well because we already know the mole fraction of benzene in the liquid phase is 0.3 starting from here so this is the liquid region when you draw a line, horizontal line that cross the two phase region when you touch the liquid vapor equilibrium line and go all the way to vapor region, this is vapor region and this number associated with the mole fraction of benzene is the mole fraction of benzene in the vapor phase let me see if I can draw a line. So starting from point 3 of benzene in the liquid phase here, then draw a horizontal line, go all the way across the two phase region and touch the vapor phase. That is where you can read the vapor composition and associated with the mole fraction on benzene is about 0.52 so that is the mole fraction of benzene and mole fraction of tolerance is equal to 1 minus the mole fraction of benzene because we say that the mole fraction, the sum of the mole fraction of all the species in the system is equal to 1 and in this system we only had two components so 1 minus the mole fraction of benzene we got more fraction of tolerance in the vapor phase next we have okay try next one we have a system of 0.3 vapor benzene and the balance tolerance and it's asking for the dew point well we say this line is a dew point so starting from the vapor phase and start from 0.3 more fraction of benzene go all the way down and when you touch the vapor liquid equilibrium line as well the first droplet forms so go ahead read this number and you got 104 degrees celsius and the mole composition is the same thing well given that 0.3 is the vapor mole fraction of benzene and then draw the line horizontal line across the two phase region and touch the liquid line is where you can read the mole fraction for benzene in the liquid phase it's about 0.12 right so from here go the way here and the mole fraction of tolerance is similar using 1 minus mole fraction of benzene then you get 0.88 PSY diagram is similar to the TSY diagram the difference is that in the PSY diagram we have vapor phase in the upper region and liquid phase in the lower region well think about the higher the temperature is more tend to be vapor and lower the temperature it tend to be liquid but pressure is opposite the higher the pressure is tend to be liquid phase and the lower the pressure is tend to be vapor phase Think about when we do the uh, piston example when you increase the pressure at constant temperature it will change the vapor into liquid phase so this PS di diagram is at fixed temperature at 100 degrees Celsius then we can find the bubble point and the uh, vapor form the bubble point and the dew point pressure with a similar method as finding the bubble point temperature and dew point temperature using the TSY diagram and same as TSY diagram inside this curve there's two phase region the only difference is that in the y axis is correspond to the pressure in units mm mercury so instead of finding the temperature we find the pressure and the mole composition is the same thing as using TSY diagram we had the vapor phase mole fraction and you can cross the line, cross the two phase region, draw a horizontal line, then is where you can find the mole fraction for the liquid phase.